Hello, everybody, and welcome to Delta Force. Now, this is an old-ass game. However, it is also one of, if not the first, tactical-style slash milsim slash CQB type games. Now, obviously, compared to a lot of, of the older games, or newer games, such as Ready or Not, Ground Branch, SWAT 4, it's not nearly as um, intense as... It's not nearly as polished, it's not nearly as mechanical. Um, but this is kind of where it all started. Please correct me down in the comments below if I'm wrong. There may have been another game that came out before this that also kind of fit that niche. Uh, but when I was a kid, I played Delta Force 2. I never played the first one. I played 2, and I played the PS1 game. I don't know if there are any other console games aside from the PS1 game, but I only ever played P the, uh, the PS1 game and Delta Force 2. So this game is a completely new, well, not entirely new, based off of the 8 campaign kills I have. Uh, this is a mostly completely new uh, playthrough for me. So we're going to enjoy this together, you know? We're going to go with a single player game. We've got a bunch of different uh, campaigns, and we're just going to go for it. Overview Insurrection, eliminate the mercenary detachment located at Objective Breeze. We're going to accept the mission. Mission. Eliminate the mercenary detachment located at Objective Breeze. Execution. You will proceed southwest from your insertion point to a position overlooking Objective Breeze. Eliminate all perimeter patrols, then proceed into the camp and neutralize all enemy forces there. This mission will only be successful if all enemy personnel at the objective are neutralized. Expected enemy forces. Analysis of satellite imagery provided by the CIA shows the enemy is operating from an abandoned ranch just south of the Colombian border. Joint Staff Intelligence, J2, believes that between 10 and 20 mercenaries are currently stationed at this base. The satellite imagery gives no indication of heavy weapons. However, small arms fire is expected to be intense once the attack, once the attack has been initiated. Allied support. Alpha team will be inserted approximately 130 meters southeast of your position and will support your left flank. Charlie team will be inserted about 240 meters west of your position. They are tasked with neutralizing the watch station on the ridge north of the ranch and will then proceed to the objective to cover your right flank. The drug lord is using his mercenary army to thwart Peruvian law enforcement and to intimidate the local civilian population. Disruption of this force will be a major blow to the drug lord's ability to conduct his business in Peru. Satellite imagery provided by the Central Intelligence Agency clearly shows one of the mercenary bases operating in Peru. This base, approximately 100 kilometers south of the Colombian border, appears to be a major staging area for the mercenaries. The Joint Force Special Operations Component Commander has deemed this a priority target. Alrighty. Now we're going to pick our gear. Now this is familiar. In fact, I think this is some of the exact same art. So, for those of you who played... Delta Force 2, or maybe you've played this game, you typically have a selection of gear. Uh, you've got your M4, you've got your M40, you've got your 50 cal, you've got an MP5, a saw, and then that's it. There's only five weapons, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five weapons. I'm going to stick with uh, the M4 for this mission, because I have actually played it before. Uh, double ammo load, satchel charges, claymores, laws. We don't need anything crazy. Spec Ops 45. Yeah, we'll go with that. Let's let's go let's go loud. All right, let's go and let's go. Actually, what happens if I click this? Ah, okay. Insertion point. Objective Breeze is here. Alpha team will be here. Charlie team is here. The watch station is there, so Charlie's going to go here and take care of that. I don't think there's anything else. Okay, yeah, let's go. 
Let's get into it. Alpha All right. Bravo. In position. Waiting for your signal. Can look at the map. Charlie, in position. We'll move on your signal. King six to all elements. You are clear to move in on the objective. All right. All right. That's what I wanted. Okay, so I can crouch. This is Alpha Team. Tower is clear. Oh, shit! I gotta back up. I'm getting shot at. All right. So the thing about this game in particular is that the conflict is typically on the longer range side of things. It makes for rather interesting engagements. Let's start moving up. That's Charlie 2. Okay. Let's start going. Okay. We got a couple more enemies, based off of intel at least. Alpha 2's over there. If I had to guess... Uh-oh. Okay, I didn't kill. I didn't kill anybody. Also, fun fact... Uh, you can kind of just avoid fall damage by going crawl. Bravo, search the base. Alpha and Charlie teams provide Overwatch. Alrighty. There's at least one enemy right on Alpha, I believe. Let's switch to... What the... F whoa, whoa, whoa. Got his ass. Alrighty. We've done it. So that was mission one. I got nine kills. Congratulations on your successful mission, Bravo team. The elimination of that base will send a message to the mercenaries and their drug lord boss that they must cease their operations or be eliminated. Documents found within the destroyed base point to the location of one of the drug lord's supply caches and also suggest the location of an airfield being used by the mercenaries as a transshipment point for weapons and other supplies. Let's keep going. Onward of Flood. Capture all vehicles, equipment, and contraband at the enemy airfield designated objective rain. Let's go. Mission. Execution. From your insertion point, proceed south along the checkpoint to a position in the foothills at the northeast end of objective rain. Eliminate all enemy resistance at the airfield. You are authorized to neutralize any enemy that you encounter. However, you are advised to avoid contact until you reach the airfield so as not to alert the forces there to your presence. This mission will be a success only after the objective has been secured. Expected enemy forces. Reconnaissance photos taken during, the, during a U-2 overflight of the objective reveal approximately 10 to 20 personnel meaning manning stations on the airfield. The photos also show a small village approximately 240 meters north of the objective. J2 believes this village may serve as a housing for the personnel at the airfield. Another 8 to 10 men may be within or patrolling near the village at any time. Allied support. Alpha team will be inserted southwest of the objective and moved into position in the hills 180 meters off the western flank of the airfield. While Charlie team 
will be inserted southeast of the airfield and proceed in position in the hills 150 meters off the eastern flank of the airfield. Once Bravo team is inserted, both Alpha and Charlie will move forward to neutralize enemy positions and secure the southern perimeter of the objective. Situation. Special Operations Command has obtained a list of airfields suspected of being used by the Drug Lord. Reconnaissance overflights that these sites have of, the, of these sites have revealed an airfield north of Cusco, where a large shipment of drugs is being loaded onto an aircraft in preparation for shipment. The recent destruction of a major mercenary base in combination with the loss of this airstrip will severely restrict the drug lord's operations. So, according to this, we're going to do something a little bit different. The village is right here. I'm going to move from here to here and try to get everything I can get taken care of, and then I'll move up and start securing the airfield from around here. This will also give me the opportunity to take out these guys, assuming the intel is correct, and usually the intel is pretty correct, the satellite overflight, uh, satellite image rather. And with that in mind, let's actually go with an M40. Uh... Let's also go with the law, just in case, and I'll go with the suppressed weapon. We're going to go with just a couple of different items this time around. I think this will be a good option. Here we go. Start mission. Okay, so they know where they are. Oh, well, shit. Oh, nobody, nobody cared. Alrighty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh oh. What the fuck? Am I looking the right way? The sensitivity on this game is a little wonky. Alright, we're going to make our way up this hill. Head this way, rather. Yeah, this will work. It is kind of funny that I just, like, absolutely destroyed the, uh, the area. It was kind of fun. Like, just immediately shot off into the night. Oh, I've got my... Well, I think I found... Village. Yep, there it is. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's get up on this crest right here. Let's crest the hill, rather. Okay, I see a couple of... See a couple of enemies. One, two. Yeah, only seeing two up there. Um, I'm not seeing anybody in there. Oh, those are birds. Um, honestly, it might be worth it to just go ahead and take this, these two guys out. What are the chances? Got him. I did just see movement. Oh. Got him. Can I hit that? What are the chances? Oh, I am a badass. Alright. That's the guy that I killed. Check my map. Alright, it looks like there's a guy way over there on the beach, or on the beachhead, I guess. 
we're gonna we're gonna go for this. Shit. There we go. Anybody else? Alright. Okay. We got a couple of hostiles to deal with. But so far, nothing I can't handle. Alright, let's uh, start looking in here. Alright, doesn't seem to be... Oh, oh, that is really bizarre that it's doing that. Okay. It looks like this place may be abandoned for the most part. Yeah, we're good. I don't need that. I've got my laws. I've got my grenades. I'm going to crest this hill and take care of this guy on the far end. I'll take care of both of you motherfuckers. I mean, I have to say, it's a lot easier to take care of some of these guys. Where am I? Where am I looking? Okay, he's way over there. For what this game is, it is a lot of fun. Like, I know that it's old, and I know that there are a lot of games that are way better. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, like, it's just... Where is he? He's way over there. Can I get the top? Get up top? Like, I know that there are better games. You will never hear me say that there aren't. But, like, it is really impressive what this game is. Uh, I saw movement. Where? Am I losing my mind? I think I'm losing my mind. This is Alpha. We're moving in position. All right. You know what? I'm gonna deal. I'm going to go ahead and deal with this guy first. What the fuck? Oh, shit. That'll fucking do it. Oh, look at him go. Okay, I got... Yeah, I got, I got a little bit of resistance coming this way. Got him, there he goes. I see him. Ah, oh, they went in the plane. No, it's not. This is the opposite of secured. Alright, we're gonna make our way down. 
That guy's just doing his thing. I'll f I'll be able to get him later. Actually, Charlie might be going after it. Let's go, let's go. Where is he? I saw him earlier. It's gonna drive me Where's crazy. The fuel tank? It could explode. Where? Oh! Let's go! Alright, what else we got? Move to the extraction point. Whoa. We got anything of value in here? Cafe. Alrighty, enter. Bravo team has secured the Drug Lord's airfield. A significant amount of drugs and weapons were captured in this mission. The remains of a code book were located in the command tent on the airstrip. While some information was recoverable from it, J2 believes a full copy of one of these code books could be of great use to Delta Force operations. Bravo team will be dispatched to acquire a code book as soon as J2 can pinpoint a mercenary camp that might have one. Alright. Next one, and possibly the last one, is Weatherman. Before we do that, let's see if I can... Settings... Uh, no, that looks to be good. Alright. Anyway, back to it. Let's do it. Actually, let me get a uh, swig of water. Penetrate enemy defenses, then locate and destroy a cache of drugs and munitions. Designated objective, Gale. Alrighty. From your insertion point, proceed 130 meters northwest to an abandoned farm. Neutralize any perimeter guard stationed there, then continue through your checkpoints to the objective. Locate the enemy cache and destroy it. Once you have accomplished that task, proceed immediately to your extraction point. Expected enemy forces. Human intelligence, collected by J2, indicates that the enemy has approximately 30 men in and around the village. J2 believes that the mercenaries are working on a rotating patrol shift in which half of them patrol their village and the perimeter, while the other half is off-duty within the village. Alpha Team will be inserted into the hills approximately 300 meters northwest of the village. From their vantage point, they will provide suppressing fire for your in ingress and egress from the objective. They will rendezvous with you at the extraction point once you have destroyed the enemy's cache. Documents captured during the raid on the mercenary camp have revealed the location of one of the drug lord's major supply caches. Peruvian drug enforcement officials have confirmed this information. This storage center is located within an old village controlled by the mercenary army. Alright. This one's suggesting I go with the MP5, the satchel charges, and the suppressed pistol. You know what, let's go. Let's do it. In we go. All right, let's move. Oh, I forgot that I could do that. Uh, how do I go back? Okay, there we go. Okay. This is Alpha. We have observed heavy patrolling along this route. Okay, there's nobody in here. Okay. I'm not seeing anybody... All right. All righty. My okay. Let's keep going forward. Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't fully understand what's going on with that. There might be a way to fix it later. Is that a? Uh... 
Nope. He might not know that I'm here. All right. Am I heading the right way? I am heading the right way. All right. -y. Okay, this is a fun little this is a fun little romp. I do enjoy a good uh a good assault. Oh, oh, oh. I got enemies right over here. Oh shit. Oh fuck. This is incredibly dangerous. It's nice to know that I've got Alpha Team coming to my aid. Bravo, watch for shooters in the village. No. I also like how the intel isn't right like there's definitely people here we just don't know where they are oh, 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 oh. the game has frozen did it crash uh-oh uh-oh i'll be right back back and we're about to pull up on the village right now. Okay, we've been detected. Alright. We dropped him. Alright, we're back where we were before. I'm hoping that there aren't any issues here now. Bravo, watch for shooters in the village. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh, 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 I see that. Should I be concerned about that? I don't think so. Let's, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was an interesting problem to have. Oh shit, I hear that, I hear it, I hear it. I have a shooter! West window! West window! West window, that tells me nothing. Okay. What am I what is Intel telling me? Oh shit, Intel's telling me that there's enemies way over there. I don't know what Pilot that is. Package, Bravo. You're running out of time. I'm going, I'm going. Alright, we're engaging in a little bit of a raid. King Six, Bravo has eyes on package. I repeat, Bravo has eyes on package. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, did I not use the satchel charge? Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, 
Am I losing my mind? Okay. Good work, Bravo. Move to the extraction point. Black Widow will meet you. It was interesting. Not entirely sure why it happens that way, but it happens that way. What was that noise? I'm heading where I need to head, so we're going to do what we need to do and do it quickly. That was bizarre. It's like the satchel charges didn't actually go. Team. In. We're extracting. Okay, they are actually moving. This is Blackwood approaching the LZ. Safeties are off. Safeties are off. Are they actually? Are they actually going to take care of whoever or whatever? Blackwood to Bravo. The LZ is hot. I repeat, the LZ is hot. Oh. Heck yeah. And he is Landon. What do we got? What do we got? Congratulations to the Bravo team. The destruction of this cache is a major blow to the drug lord. A significant amount of both drugs and weapons were destroyed in this mission. J2 has confirmed that the success of this operation has forced the drug lord to expose other caches in an attempt to withdraw his supplies to more secure areas. Bravo team is ordered to stand by for orders to move against these supply convoys. Alrighty. That's gonna be it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll conquer Bad Habit. I don't know how many campaign missions are in Peru, but we're gonna keep going and we're gonna have some fun with it. I'm having a blast with this game so far. I really do enjoy the uh, the feel of Delta Force games. I know that the games are a little on the weird side. Uh, maybe I need to run them in compatibility mode or something. Uh, either way, I'll figure it out. Uh, but this game is a lot of fun. And I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. And if, you, uh, if you're interested, pick up a copy of the game for yourself. If I'm not mistaken, they're like 10 bucks on Steam. Uh, I got this game on sale for like 99 cents. So, um, they're very fun. Delta Force 2 is holds a special place in my heart because there's a lot of fun things you can do with it. Uh, and remember, it's an old game, so your computer can run it. The nice thing about this game is that it's kind of like the precursor to Arma. Um... I'm sure there's going to be a couple people who are like, Oh, that's not true. Arma's so much better. I know Arma's better. I'm saying this is the precursor. I get it. With that being said, though, I hope you all enjoy it. I also hope you guys have been enjoying my playthrough of Spider-Man 2, along with my playthrough of Five Nights at Candy's. Uh, my mom's been joining me for Five Nights at Candy's, and it's been it's been overall a really enjoyable time. So, hope you guys are enjoying, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.